Welcome to the fourth of five videos showing my mastery of the AECT standards. Standard four will show my ability to design, develop, implement, and evaluate technology-rich learning environments within a supportive community of practice. I'll be sharing three artifacts that will demonstrate my professional knowledge and skills for standard four. I developed an instructional design project that addressed a need for professional development for classroom presentations. I first surveyed the teachers who provided feedback on their use of multimedia presentations within their classrooms. Then I interviewed the teachers for a better understanding of their presentation use. The analysis of the data from the surveys and interviews showed that there was a large gap in the amount of teachers using presentations in their curriculum. I identified learning objectives and then began a scaffolding strategy to teach the objectives. I used an objectives matrix table and an arcs table to lay out my plan for the instructor guide. I created an instructor guide to help teachers learn to convert their PowerPoints to interactive multimedia instruction in a professional development class. This showed my ability to analyze learners, develop instruction, and evaluate its impact on the teachers. My next artifact was based on the requirements of many of my instructors throughout this program that required a reflective learning log. I developed this out of a requirement, but it ended up being something that I look back on to give me a better understanding of my learning experiences and capabilities. I used this log to analyze my thoughts during design, development, and implementation of the various projects during my MET journey. This project is a combination of two different courses that reflect my thought process and progression during the courses. It also includes my ability to implement technology-supported design that enhanced my learning. The third artifact demonstrates the gap between students that have computers with internet access and those who do not. The Digital Divide project highlighted the importance of computer literacy and how it can narrow the gap when proper hardware, software, and internet access is present. I found that the diversity of learners plays a significant role in the variables that contribute to the digital divide. This project also brought to light the control we have is usually only one-sided. 